Let me make sure we're live here. Yeah, it says live on there. Uh. Yep. It says you can you see that it says live already. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, I can see all three of you brothers on the live screen. Right. Likewise. All right, very good. Well, let's get into it, brothers. First let's and foremost, do it. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shai. Mahashem, or All right, yeah. And again, you know, double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, man. You know, right. and a healthy salutation, especially to these these uh, beautiful young brothers that you see before us. All right, to the uh, you know that are speaking the truth in sincerity, man. Shalom to you. All right, so let's get after it, man. Just another live show, uh, basically uh, an impromptu, man. But you know, we got to be speaking these words and uh, push out that vibration. You know, okay. So let's get after it, man. Let's get after it. Who got on? We already got somebody on the comment board. <laughs> All right. So let's start out. Let's start out. I got a, uh, this is 2 Timothy 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing whom thou hast learned fr them from. That's why we precisely say who we learned this from before. Ultimately, it's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? That's right. It's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And, uh, you know, a pre, uh, pre lesson we were talking about, you know, Abba Bivens and, and, you know, and how the, the things, you know, went on down the line and how he was, you know, he was murdered in Patterson, uh, Patterson, Patterson, right? Yeah. Yeah, by a bunch yeah. of wicked jakes, man. You know, and the same people are back. Everybody's in their lot. Everybody's in their lot, man. So if your brother's got anything, bring it on out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and brother, I'm going to read a scripture. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Matthew chapter uh, 23. Okay. So everybody is back in their lots. Right. The brothers that have always fought against the spirit. The brothers that have always killed the men of the Lord. Those naysayers and non-believers, they're back in their lot along with the men of the Lord. I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 23, and I'm going to start reading at verse 24. So Yahweh Shai is getting on wicked Israelites. But we get a lot of novices coming to this word, and they say, leave them alone, not knowing that if they're outside of this doctrine, they're not with us. Let's go to Matthew 23 and 24. Ye blind guides which strain at a net and swallow at a camel. So these are brothers that are pick and poke at everything that we're doing, everything we're teaching, and they themselves are not right. They're not even examining themselves, but they're coming against what we teach. Let's go to verse 25. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and mm. of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. They look good, and they know how to speak with enticing words. Right. A lot of these brothers are decked out. Long garments, all these fancy, flashy material that they're wearing, but they're not cleaning up the inward man. Right. But they just want to look good to the public eye to be right. seen by man. Let's go to verse 26. <laughs> but thou, Pharisee, clean first that which is within the cup and platter, that the mm. outside of them may be clean also. And this is what we're trying to do right now by coming back to this word, being washed by the doctrine and being becoming that new creature that we're commanded to be. That's right. And so this walk is a difficult walk, tight and narrow. And so we're trying to get all the impurities out so that we can make sure that we're doing what's right to help edify the body and feed the sheep. 
I'm going to go to verse 28. That's right, the right way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Dead men's bones. So we were there, walking dead, but now we're being clean by this truth, by this doctrine. And that's why I always, one of the biggest things that I try to harp on is when brothers come into the truth, they got to cast out everything they've been taught in the Christian church. Because if these brothers are not embracing the doctrine, if they're not allowing the seed of truth to be planted into their spirit, then they're not that new creature that we can walk alongside. Yes, absolutely. And the Bible says the little leaven leaven it the entire lump. Okay. So we can't be easy on these brothers that are just half-stepping or bringing in a, a false doctrine or something contrary to what we've learned. And I want to I don't want to get long-winded, brother. No, you good, brother. You good. But I'm gonna just read this uh the key point here, verse 29. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. They're killing the prophets. So these same brothers are back in their lot that are antagonizing us. Matter of fact, they come up to the camp, they spit at us, they throw cans and bottles at us. Yep. They call the police on us, falsely accuse us. They attack us. So these are the same spirits, and Brother Uriah Chayal brought this up. The same All brothers right. are back in their lots today. That's right. They hate us because of the spirit that we're coming in. And we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So when you stop and take a step back, they got the spirit of anti Hamashiach on them. Right. And you'll notice yeah. whenever Esau comes in their presence, they fall back. That's showing you who their God is. They're outside of the spirit that we're coming in. But whenever, John 8 and 44, ye are of your father the devil. Yep. The same brothers are back today. Yep. Trying to kill Yahweh Shai. Trying to kill John, Peter, Paul, the apostles. So this Bible, man, when you understand reincarnation, the light bulb comes on. So we know that these brothers are enemies on this side. Absolutely. Let's go to verse 31. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them that killed the prophets. That's right. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. That's, That's right. fire. So they're going to do the same thing they've always done. Come back in the same lot of the spirits of their forefathers. Right. Now see that? But that's what, that, but that's that's what we're doing right now. We're coming back, you know, in our lot, man. But everybody that's is right. who everybody is, man. You know, I got a precept, Brother Shaw. Okay. okay I got a this is Second uh, Corinthians thirteen, verse five. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, is in you, except ye be reprobates, man. Okay. And that's, that's exactly right. what the brother was going into. Uh, about being reprobates and really examining yourself and whether you're doing this thing the right way or for uh, lasciviousness purposes, man. All right? right. Verse 6. But I trust that ye shall know we are not reprobates, man. And how do we know that? Because the Spirit bear witness between brethren, man. Okay? The, uh, 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 in Matthew uh, 12, verse 50, it said, the ones who do the will of my father, the same as my brother, my mother, and my sister, man. Okay? You know, right. I got a quick precept. And, uh, and, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go, go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Luke 11 and 34. It says, the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, the whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Verse 35, take heed therefore that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body therefore be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light. And when the bright shining of the candle doth give thee light, man. Okay? That's so, beautiful. You know, 
Yeah, man. All these scriptures are beautiful, man. You know, you got to keep your eyes single in, in this truth, man. You can't, you know, you got to have blinders on the side of your eye. You got you to go, you know, go forward, man. You can't you can't right. have anything right. on the side of you deterring you or distracting you from this truth, man. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. You got to keep your eyes single. Yeah, like the brother was talking about, man. You know? That's right. Uh, I got a precept to that, man. This is uh, this is Job 18, verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out. Okay, and the spark of his fire shall not shine, man. So you how about you shine, man? He's working a great work on this earth, man. You know, it's all a big test. We've we've all been tested. We're gonna be tried through the fire, okay? But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. Verse six, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him, man. So you know, there's a balance, man. You how about you shine? There's a balance, okay? The, the wicked have their light, which is darkness. And he's going he's to put it out with a great noise, man. You know, boom, with that noise from pestilence. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? That's right. I might want to go to... Uh, and one, real quick, uh, Brother uh, Araya, what was it's the previous like, precept you just read? Oh, uh, that was Luke 11 and 34. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh Second Corinthians chapter four. Can I can I say something real quick, uh Big Brother? Please. My my name is, is Aria. Aria. Yeah, Aria. Okay, sorry about that, bro. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, brother Aria. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go to uh Second Corinthians chapter four. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. As we have received mercy, we faint not. And when I read that, that mercy goes back to getting that this understanding. That's right. So I don't take this truth lightly, neither should any of us, because we've gotten the mercy by being shown this gl glorious light. Verse 2. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 2. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully, Woo. but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. That group Fope showed up wow. after taking two weeks off. About a year ago, they took two years off. And then wow. when they're coming back, they're handling the, the word deceitfully. Right. All 12 tribes are jet black. <laughs> the Edomites are, are dark skin. These men are crazy, man. So we know they're not walking in this marvelous, glorious yeah. light. And they're not rightfully dividing the word of truth. And then they go into hibernation during the winter. Nobody can find these men. Right. So they're not sincere. So we know that they're not really being shown the marvelous light of this gospel. That's Verse right. 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And the first group of people come to mind are the two-third Israelites. Uh -huh. That's where the judgment starts. Right. And this is why I get back on these novices again that are new to the truth. These men are not with us. They're constantly bringing contention, false doctrine, and they're constantly... They're, they're feeding off our table, but deceitfully. And this table is his doctrine. Verse 4. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the glorious light of the gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, shine unto them. So they're purposely being blinded in the dark so that they cannot be delivered when the time comes. So I understand this, and we brothers understand this. Right. The logic behind Bible prophecy must be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Two-thirds are going to be cut off and die on this side. If not, we make the most high a lie. Verse 5, for we preach not ourselves, but Hamashiach, the Lord, and, our, and ourselves, 
your servants for your Howard Shai's sake. So none of us do this for vain glory. None of us. And you can tell the brothers that are sincere because they're bringing this heat every day. They're going out to the highways and byways, yep. making them their bodies a living sacrifice. So the brothers that go into hibernation every winter, those brothers are not sincere, taking two and three months off. Yep. Those brothers are abandoning the flock, the sheep. Verse 6, for the Most High, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our heart to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of the Most High and not of us. So all the glory, praise, and honor goes to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's right. So we are merely vessels helping to push this doctrine and shine the glory of this marvelous light. That's right. Well, I mean, you, uh, you're going into, uh, you know, some of those other camps, or ma mainly all those other camps, man, you know, and uh, slacking off and being sluggards, you know, halfway in, halfway out. Can't be that way, man. You got to go 100%. You got to preach the word as, uh, as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah uh, instructed us to preach the word, man. You know, uh, this is Proverbs 13, verse 13. Okay. They really despise the word. That's what it is. They hate you. How about Shimiyahu Shah, man? This is the house of Saul coming back, man. Everybody's back in their lot. Proverbs 13, verse 13. Who despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth uh, the commandment shall be rewarded, man. And, and uh, you know, and the scripture talks about the fear of Yahweh about Shimiyahu Shah is the beginning of wisdom, man. Okay? Right. Now, a wise man does what? He keeps his words. Okay? He keeps Yahweh about Shimiyahu Shah's words, man. Verse 14. The law of the wise is a foundation uh, uh, of life to depart from snares of death, man. And all of this whole place is a big fat snare to the Israelites, man. They're snares and traps, okay? We are all hidden in prison houses, man. Verse, uh, verse 15, good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. You see? The scripture said, uh, do his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous, you know? It's not it's not that hard to do, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And Yahweh rocked the Zion, I'm a part of that number, along with you brothers, man. Right. I got a, a you know? quick scripture about them sluggers you was talking about. It's uh, ahead, Proverbs bro. 10, 5. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Okay, mm. and that's self-explanatory right there, man. It's just these dudes that don't go out in the winter time, scared of the scared of the cold, you know, only choose to go out in the spring and the summer, and don't want to do the work, man. You got these guys right. out here that only do videos once a month or once every two months, you know, being sluggers, man. This is the time to be on fire right now, man. We almost up out of here, man. This is the time right. to go. It's home. Always yeah, it's always time to go hard. Why not go harder? Yeah. Go as hard as yeah, you can. Yeah, it's time to go harder. You can never do enough. This, this is a this is our grace period, man. Yeah. You know? And when you got the spirit on you, man, you get offended by these brothers, man. Right. Because they're not sincere. Their, their heart is not right. Their mind is not right. So you That's really right. get offended. How dare you take two, three months off, and you got a nerve to come back and teach a false doctrine. Right. And I told Elder Manatazak one day, Hey, yo, man, I be wanting to put hands on some of these guys, man. But I realize this is not carnal. But I, that group folk pay, man, one day they got underneath my skin, man. You got yeah. some nerve to take all this time off and then come back teach, teaching lies. Right. Poisoning the flock. Right. You know, how dare you, man? You yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, leading, uh, I got a precept whenever you, uh, you're ready. I got a second. Uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 1. I charge thee, therefore, before the Most High and the Lord, Yahweh Hamashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. So that dead is talking about these brothers. Dead men's bones. Okay, they're, they're separate because they look good on the outside, but they don't have the spirit of life that has quickened us 
and allowed us to stand on our feet, bold as lions, and teach this word. So these men are dead men walking. Let me read that again. Second Timothy 4 and 2. I charge thee, therefore, before the Most High and the Lord, Yahawashai, Hamashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. So the quick have been quickened or made alive and are going to get the reward of the kingdom. And the dead are going to get their judgment right. commensurate with being false prophets, being sluggards, not teaching the word in season and out of season. That's Verse right. 2, yeah. preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own flesh shall they heat to themselves teachers, teachers having, having itching, itching ears, ears. Yep. Yep. and that's what a lot of our you know what it's, the most high rightfully call us sheep because the moment you find your favorite character the moment you find your favorite actor that makes you laugh, that makes you feel a certain way, yep. scratching the itch, then our people are attracted to these guys. Right. Like General Johan, the big grizzly bear with shades on. This man teaching ain't no chip, ain't no Jacob's trouble, yep. but people like his persona. You know, he carries the tough guy image. But that's, just not, that's not what this is all about. He's bringing false doctrine and he's not rightfully dividing the word of truth. So he's scratching the itch of those Israelites that are joining on blackness or just being colored, not taking it a step further that we need to walk in the light of what's right. And that's this doctrine. Right. Verse 4, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. That's right. right. Hey, I, 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 I got a preset, man. You know, uh, because <laughs> going into what he's going into what he's saying, man. We got to hold fast to our profession, man. Okay. Man. This is Hebrews four and verse fourteen. Seeing that, uh, Seeing then that we have great a great high priest, okay, that is passed into heavens, Hamashiach Yahushai, the Son of the Most High. Let us hold fast our profession, man. Okay. So you can't be lukewarm. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. You got to be 144%, man. We got to hold fast to the things that we have learned and uh, and uh, uh, to our profession, man. And, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, man, this is, uh, I, I have found out, and I'm sure you brothers have too, this is what we've been put here to do, man. You know, this is this is my life's work, man. For you, how about Shimmy how about man? Verse 15, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, man. Okay? So we all going through something. You know, uh, as of right now, my whole household asleep going through something, man. But it is what it is. Okay? But we, uh, in all points, uh, uh, tempted like we are, yet without sin. Okay? Verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Okay? Because we're not, I was talking about that grace period, man that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need, man, okay? And our time of need's coming. Jacob's trouble's coming. It's all coming. It's, uh, there, it, whatever we're going, we're going through now, man, is going to be nothing compared to Jacob's trouble, as the scriptures say, okay? So we got to endure until the end, like the brother was going into in uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew 24 and 33, I believe, okay? So this is the grace period, man. You know, got a quick precept. It's Proverbs yeah. 10, Proverbs 10, 13, and 14. In the lips of him that have understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction, man. You know, so, you know, all these brothers out here preaching the wrong thing, preaching the wrong doctrines. You know, I wanted to go into Zechariah 11 too, because that speaks of, you know, the, the, the evil uh, and, and wicked uh, 
preachers, you know, from back in the days, man, that were leading the sheep in the wrong direction, man. That's and right. these brothers are a void of understanding, man. Absolutely. I got one to tell in off that. Yeah, brother um, Araya, right? Or well, Araya. Oh. Araya. Araya. I got it the second time. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up where the brother just left off. Brother Araya. Uh, 2 Timothy 2, verse 3. I'm going to go to verse. Well, I got to start at the top, brothers. 2 Timothy 2 and 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yehoshai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So we're trying to help raise up productive trees that are going to bring forth fruit not that are going to be dead in the winter, not bringing right. forth any edification to help right. spread this gospel. This is not a spectator sport for the, for the men that's out there. Verse 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Hamashiach. Right. Anybody think this walk is a cakewalk? It's, it's totally being delusional. You know, and I... And I would really feel selfish to present all the stuff we're dealing with, my family, what we're going through. But really, this truth is, a, is, a, is what absorbs most of my energy because I care about the flock. So i got a greater family that I'm dedicating a lot of energy and time to. Absolutely. So my love is for the body, the flock, the house of the Lord. That's where most of my love is towards. So nobody that comes in this truth is going to love their spouse, their child, their blood brothers more than our brothers that are gathered in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we're all catching hell in this walk. So enduring that hardness and going back to my soldier days, hey, listen, man, when it rained, we increased training. Mud, sleet, snow. So if I did that for the devil... Why can I not do the same thing in this in this truth, in this walk? Right. Standing out there in the rain, pulling guard duty, below freezing temperatures, standing out there bold on the front lines, going to combat. So we're spiritual warriors right now. That right. same level of energy or more need to be dedicated towards this work. And brothers got excuses that are out there that are not putting forth their hands to the plow. Yep. But this doctrine, this word, this word comes first. Verse 4. No man that war entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. That's he. <laughs> so we're first and foremost warriors for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Everything else comes second. We're not entangled in this web, in this net. All the snares and traps of the beats, social media, yep. especially to our young brothers and sisters out there. Yep. They're being snared and entrapped by the things of this world. And this truth becomes a second or, or third priority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. I got a preset. Go ahead, brother. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 2 and 3. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. For that is, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to, to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better, man. And I'm, I'm just going into what the brother was talking about, man. The trials and tribulations that we go through make us better, man. You know? Being refined well, in the fight, right? Well, you know, yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people don't like adversity. They can't handle adversity, man. A lot of people shy away from it and run from it, man. But us being this truth, we gotta run towards it, man. You know, right. we can't get right. comfortable in this thing. You know, your comfort zone will kill you, man. Right. You know, you know uh, Apostle Gabar did a video 
uh, earlier today, and he was speaking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, gold and silver, right? Gold and silver. Right. When yeah. gold and silver is tried you know, through the fire, what happens? It gets purified. It purifies right? it, man. Yeah, but yeah. but wood and straw, when it gets when it gets consumed, what happens? It's it gets insane. burned up. It's burnt it, up. It man. becomes stubble, man. You know, that's right. So uh, we're striving to be that gold and silver, man, the, on the front lines, you know, doing the right thing, man. Uh, uh, this is a uh, Sirach 2, verse 4. Whatsoever is bought upon thee, take carefully. That's and right. Be patient when thou art changed to a low estate, man. You know, so yeah, and he, he, he said he would never give us more than, uh, than what we can handle, man. So, that's you right. know, hey, gird up your loins like a man, you know, do the work. Okay. I got something else here. I want to read this. Going back just a little bit on what the brother uh, Amawana Ba was talking about, man. Isaiah 30, verse 19. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. There shall weep, they shall weep no more. He will be uh, very gracious unto thee and the voice of thy cry. See that? And the voice of thy cry, man. Sign the crying in the streets, making these electronic epistles daily, man. Feeding the sheep. Knowing the state of the flock, all right? When uh Salakia, when he shall hear it, he will answer thee. Verse 20. Okay? When he shall hear it, he will answer thee, right? He put his hand on our mouth and we speak in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Chai. This came this comes straight from on high, man. You know, these are not our words, man. All right. Verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, ye shall not. Thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Okay, all right. This all those sluggards taking uh, nine months off, two weeks off. You know, even if you stuck at home, you can make a you can make a ten minute video a day, man. Okay, that's right. Yeah, uh, verse twenty one. And thy ears shall hear a word behind thee. When these people walk, I I, I know you brothers witnessed this. People will walk right past you. Right? Knowing that what you're saying means something, man. Okay? Verse 21. And the eye shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. And that's what we're saying to these people. That's what we're telling the, uh, the two thirds. That's we're trying to bid you to the marriage, man. Crying aloud, spare not. Okay? Again from the top. And thy eye shall hear a word behind the behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. And when ye turn to the right, and when ye turn to the left. So everywhere you go uh, across the four corners of this earth, you are going to find Israelites in every major city. Hell, even in small places like this, man. Up here, I'm up here in Mount Seir, as the brother says, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm up here in Mount Seir. And he, uh, Yahweh Shai, saw fit to wake me up up here, man. So it is what it is. All right? So these people are hearing these words. And whether they were here or forbear, they will know there was a prophet among them, man. Okay? Yes, that's all I had on that. Did you need to go, Brother Aria? Huh? Did you have if a you preset? If you got something to bring out, bring out. I was going to bring out a quick, a quick jab. Okay, I'm going to go right after you, my brother. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you know, just getting on, on them sluggers. I bought it out yesterday, but I'll bring it out again. Right. The sluggard will plow by reason of the cold. Therefore, shall he beg and harvest and have nothing, man. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful, brother. Yeah, and that's yeah. really a beautiful um, precept to pick up off of. Because and 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 brother um, Gabar Dama, you bring up a good point. When the judgment hits, the Most High is fair and equitable, man. This truth is going out on a high frequency. Yeah. Round the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's not going to be any excuse for John 15 and 22 when this judgment hit. And it's going to start with the house of Israel. I'm going to go to 1 Peter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which the Most High giveth, that the Most High in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Hamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion 
forever and ever. So we're not speaking our own words. We're speaking a heavenly wisdom. But when they see us out there teaching, they just looking at the carnal or fleshly appearance. Yep. We look poor. We look downtrodden. So a poor man's wisdom is not heard. But the Most High is using the weak to confound the wise. Right. I'm going to go to verse 12. Be <laughs> beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. So we're being refined through adversity, through the affliction that we're dealing with. So the Most High purposely designed this, this test, these trials, on purpose to put those of the, the royal noble class at the bottom. Right. So that on purpose, we're being refined. We're being groomed and developed to be those future kings on the earth. So he purposely set it up this way to humble us so that we can see the 360 degree, the evil, the wickedness. We can see what it's like to be at the bottom, to yep. be afflicted, yep. in order to appreciate the level that the Most High is trying to take us. But first we had to be brought low and humble. So we had to go through the fiery trap. Yep. Verse 13, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So now that we've walked the same walk of faith, being tested and tried, being taken, remember Yahushua was taken up to the mountain, yep. and the spiritual demon Satan yep. said, if thou will bow down and worship me, I will right. give you the glory of the kingdoms of this world. So that right. same walk and temptation were being modeled after that same type of test of faith and trial. So we're rejecting the ways of this world in order to be set up to go higher. Right. <clears throat> That's right, brother. Absolutely. Man, I've, uh, this comment board is on fire. Wow. I can't even see it. <laughs> I can't even see the comment board. I could I could try to put it up, but I'm afraid I'll mess something up, man, because I'm still new to this technology here. But uh wow. Let's see. I've got oh man, it jumped on me. Oh, okay. This is Shapa of twelve. Uh second Peter three verse fourteen. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things. Be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blemish, man. Okay? Mm. So, we, yeah, it, it, all this, uh, all these precepts totally tie together, man. It's a beautiful book, man. All right? Without mm. spot and blemish, man. All right? The lambs, right? Verse 15. Mm. And accounted that longsuffering of our Lord uh, is a salvation. See? Even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. All right? Hey, thank you. So why for the precept, brother? I just wanted to get a couple off the comment board. Shalom, brother Chapa. Shalom. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a bunch of precepts on this comment board. Wow. Go ahead, brother. I ain't listening. Uh, are, you, are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever's got oh, no, I was saying, I was saying Shalom to the brother Shapa. Oh, okay. Shalom. Well, yeah. I got something. This is Proverbs yeah. 6, verse Preacher. 6, man. Okay. Proverbs 6, verse 6, verse 6 says this. Go to the ant, thou slugger. Consider That's his right. ways and be wise. Okay. That's right. Now, uh, what does the ant do? The ant works. They all work together. They're all one body. Okay. And something else I learned what an ant does. An ant buries his, it's, it's dead, man. Okay. So uh, we need to consider the ant and see and, uh, and study the way they work together, you know, and the way they lay up their treasures where they can where they can live through the winter, right? Uh, verse seven, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, see, 
They uh, consider the ant, man. It's, that's absolutely perfect scripture right there. Yeah, right? but the, Provide, the, the the yeah. I was gonna say the most important thing to uh to consider about ants is they all work as a cohesive unit, man. As right. basically right. one body, man. Just like one us. Body. Yep. Just like us, man. One you one know? body. You got your workers. You got this. You got that. And it all yeah. it's all one body, and it all works out every time. That's right. Okay. First, uh. Yeah, uh, verse, like you. verse eight, provided her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. Verse nine, how long wilt thou sleep, O slugger? Mm -hmm. When, uh, so like you, uh, when wilt thou arise out of sleep, man? Okay, when will our people arise out of sleep? Ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahashah is the one that's going to either wake you up or keep your ass uh, locked down in slumber, man. All right. Verse 11, so shall thy uh, poverty come as one that travaileth, and they want as an armed man. It's lucky. Okay, yeah, verse 12, yeah. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a uh, forward mouth, man, okay? That also goes into those other camps. They, you know, they, you know, they take all these days off, and then they come back preaching some kind of uh, unworldly doctrine that makes no sense whatsoever, man. And it's clear to see they've taken the purse, okay? They're a bunch of sluggards, man. We got a quick uh, precept. Uh, Proverbs 10 and 26. As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the slugger to them that send him, man. Right. You know? Right. Those sleep. A lot of these, a lot of these sluggers out here conceited, man. They conceited in them own in their own selves, man. Pride. That's all they worry about is their selves. They're not really worried about the doctrine, you know. They're not real. They're not really worried about the sheep, man. They just worried about themselves. And a lot of these sluggers are, are conceited and lazy, man. You know, right? Exactly. I'm gonna pick up right behind you, uh, brother. I'm gonna go to Second Corinthians chapter eleven. And this is what Paul had to deal with and facing wicked Israelites. <coughs> Part of being an enduring hardness as a good soldier for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. I'm going to go to 2 Corinthians 11. I'm going to go to verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Hamashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more in labor, more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths all. Of the Jews, five times receive I forty stripes, save one, being afflicted by our own people. Ooh. So this walk, you catching hell. By the wicked Israelites on one side, and then you got the other nations on the other side, starting with Edom. So this affliction is getting it from both sides. Not to mention, you come home to non-believers. Yep. So this is a very straight and narrow path. Right. Verse 25. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck a night and a day, and I have been in the deep, in journeyings often, in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. So that enduring that hardness as a good soldier, fighting off opponents on every side. Right. And without the Holy Spirit to strengthen us, to harden us in this walk, we're dead in the water. We don't stand a chance without the, the comforter that Holy Spirit that strengthened us to stay the straight and narrow path. 
Right. You know, that uh, that also goes into a, a, a couple of different things in that scripture. That, <laughs> uh, when, when it said, uh, uh, when, uh, when it talked about, he said, thrice I was shipwrecked, you know, that goes into a, re a regeneration right there. Okay. And that's what a whole lot of people don't understand. Is uh, you've been, you've been shipwrecked. You, you killed this way, killed that way. You know, okay. Um, and I'll, uh, read that last scripture again, if if you don't mind, Brother Shaw. I'm going to go back to it. Okay, Second right. Corinthians 11, verse 25. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. And journeyings often in peril of water, in peril of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful, man. See, that goes that that, that goes into regeneration right there. And, uh, and there's certain things if people don't if uh if people don't can't receive it or understand certain things, they can't, you know, they can't wrap their mind around uh uh reincarnation. They can't wrap their mind around uh uh, uh chariots, you know, if you will. They can't wrap their mind uh, around uh uh uh, you know, just the little things, man. Uh, ever learning and never being able to come up, come to the truth, man. You know, that's that uh, that's that blindness that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is putting on people, man. You know, yeah. and that's uh, that's another thing we got to understand. Uh, some of these brothers, so-called brothers, you know, that want to get up on the comment board and always say something about this or that, this or that, they're not understanding the simple mysteries of the Bible, man. Okay, they get hung up on the little things like everybody going to look like John Shaft. They get hung up on uh, 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 well, how, how can these people be Israelites? They get hung up uh, on, uh, on uh, you know, different doctrines like uh, so, uh, uh, Esau so going into captivity. They get hung up on that one the most. Right. right. About Esau and the other nations right. going into captivity. Right. You know? And uh, they, get, they get hung up on uh, uh, thinking, you know, you tell them that Babylon, a.k.a. American, uh, is going is to be completely obliterated. Destroyed. They don't believe they don't that, man. That. They don't, they don't that. believe that. Nah, they love it here. You know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Survive. 28 acres here. and a mule. That's what they're I looking thought it was for. 40 and a mule. No, nah, Chief Ephraim. Uh, he bought that, you know, he got that 28 acres in Georgia, right? That's why I say 28 acres and a mule, man. See, even Israelites is th are thinking that way, man. And that's off, man. <laughs> that's off. Let's see here. I got a... Uh, this is 2 Timothy 3, verse 14. All right? As a matter of fact, let's go... Yep, let's go back. Let's go to 13. 2 Peter... Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, my brain's a little foggy, man. I'm still, you know battling this thing all right second timothy 3 verse 13 but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived okay verse 14 but continue thou in the things that which thou has learned and, and has been assured of okay so when we continue in the things that we have learned and have been assured of how because we see the prophecies popping off the page man we are staying occupied in prophecies just like the scripture said stay occupied in prophecy all right uh, that's and that's a whole that's what the christian church don't do that's what a whole lot of israelite groups don't do is stay occupied in prophecies man or or they'll say well you know the motb is they they believe in everything else but out of spite they'll say the motb is a uh, uh, christianity sleeping with white women you know how can you buy and sell with that man all right so i'm gonna read 14 right. again but continue thou and the things which thou hast learned and have been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. You see? Okay? And, and I'm reading that because all, you know, most of all these brothers 
have learned this from the One West Doctrine, man. Okay? And it, which came directly down from who? The apostles, man. You know? And it is what it is. You just, you got to be honest about it. Okay? And uh, 15. And that uh, from a child, thou has known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make these wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach, Yahawashah, man. You see? So the just shall live by faith. And that's all there is to it. So if you want to be a sluggard, if you want to uh, come up on the comment boards, always running your lip, but never saying anything, you go to your page and it's tumbleweed. Okay? Hey, man. Talk not much with a fool, right? Let him be. Okay? Yeah. That's all I had. Ooh, I'm going to go to Surat 39. Man, hey, Salakia, man. I got to read verse 16. Hey, brother, yeah, let the spirit flow. Yeah, uh, all, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and, and for instruction in righteousness. Okay, 17, that the, uh, that the man of the Most High may be perfect through, uh, uh, through furnished unto all good works, man. All right, so hey. Uh, 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 an evil tree cannot bring forth good fruit. You see? That's right. And, and that's, that is what it is, man. Okay? Uh, that's all I had on that. So lucky. I didn't mean to cut you off. And see, that's why I got to go to Hebrews 4 and 12 after that. Because the moment this Bible comes out, it's shedding light on who the wicked are, helping us to discern those that have evil intentions, who the agents are, the spies. Right. Who's in bed with, with Esau, the devil? Right. Hebrews 4 and... Um, oh. Go to verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Right. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah. So every time we do lessons, those that are wicked, they reveal themselves because right. they attack the word. They're being convicted, pierced through the spirit. Those dark spirits, those wicked brothers or the other heathens that are constantly throwing darts or picking and poking at what we teach. And like you said, Art, when you go to their content page, it's blank. Or they got naked women on there. Booty shaking videos. There you go. Yep. Ain't nothing wrong with hip hop and R&B. But like I said, the word, this work comes first. But these brothers, their heart is not right. Their mind is not right. So when, when this Bible comes out, it's helping us to discern those dark, evil brothers or the other dark spirits that are out there. This word sheds light on evil doers, wicked brothers. Hey, the spirit bear witness, man. That's exactly. Hey, the, the, you know, the spirit bear witness, man. You know, and, and whatever's in you is going to come out anyway, man. Yahabashim Yahashah is not a man where he shall lie. You know, if it's in you to bring it out, if it's in your lot to bring it out, if it's in your lot to go out to the highways and byways and teach, do so. You know, if it's in your lot to stop and mark, because the scripture said this. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, it's uh, uh it said in the last in uh, the last days shall come. Salak, you bear with me. Well, I can bring out another one while you're getting that. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Sirach 39, verse one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. Yep. So these brothers don't have the oil. Yep. That's why they're not able to interpret what we're teaching. They can't receive it. So they don't have that spirit of truth on them. And they're not occupied in this doctrine, in this word, verse 2, he will keep the sayings of the renowned men 
and where sunk through parables are, he will be there also. So the Spirit is revealing to us all things pertaining to prophecy. That's how we know about this chip. That's how we knew the lockdowns were coming. That's how we knew the quarantines were coming. We knew all of the events that are leading up and shaping out towards that ultimate end state, right. that mark. So we're able to see through the dark parables, the prophecies that are associated with this book. I'm going to go to Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 9 after uh, the next brother. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. Mm -hmm. So we are able to shine this light through the darkness. We can see through the veil of deception. We know not to trust this devil and his pseudoscience, his hokey pokes. We know not to trust this man and all these different media narratives they're throwing out there. And most importantly, we're able to break down the wise sayings in this book. Right. Verse right. 4, he shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he hath tried the good and the evil among men. So all of this is a test. All of this is a trial so that we can be acclimated to the good and the evil right. being shaped to be the future leaders of the new kingdom under Jacob. That's right. Oh, Verse yeah. 5, he will oh. give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sin. When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge and in his secrets shall he meditate. So we're supping with the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So we're feeding from that table of these wise, dark sayings right. shrouded in Bible prophecy. Absolutely. Man, that's fire right there. You <clears throat> took me on a whole yeah, I, got a, I got a quick piece up. Bring it out. I, I'm, let, I'm letting y'all brothers go because y'all the elders, man. So I'm just showing respect and I'm just I'm just laying back. Hey, man. man. I'm not a, I'm you know, not an elder. I'm just soaking it all in. I'm just soaking it all in, it all in brother. You know, uh, this is Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter six, and I want to start at uh, thirty-five. You know, you know what? Thirty-four. Based off what I just said, stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee bedtimes unto him and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thy own desire, man. You know, we just got to keep keep pushing, wow. keep studying, keep praying for faith, pray for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, pray for patience, you know, pray for various things. And, and you know, that the Heavenly Father will eventually give it to you when he right. sees it, you know? Right. Yeah, that's another, you know, that's another thing, man. Uh, you know, he, he said, if, if you pray in my name, right, it's very important to know what his name is. But you got to be that's careful right. about what you say and what you're praying for, man. You know, it has to be uh, it has to be from the right spot, from the right, you know, from the right place. OK, yeah. there's a lot of people will pray, you know, uh, uh, like Christianity, man. They, they got this whole prosperity doctrine or some kind of weird, you know, prosperity madness. And they'll sit and they'll pray. They'll pray for uh, for riches. They'll pray for this. Yeah. They'll pray for that. But it's coming all from the wrong spot, man. And he's yeah, not going to answer those carnal things. things. Yeah. Right. Carnal things. They're man. not That's spiritual. Right. Though. They're not spiritual. They're all carnal, That's man. Right. You know, not even knowing that this place is about to be destroyed. So those carnal things that you're praying for is going to be no more soon, man. That's you right. Know? 
This is, uh, I got, I got a uh, preset. This is Luke 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any, this is red letters. Yeah, how was I speaking? And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with, uh, with a uh, uh, suffering and, and, and drunkenness and cares of this life. Okay. And so that, so that day come upon you unawares. All right. right. And see, that's the thing, man. Uh, all these people, all these two thirds, man, they're too worried about this world, man. Okay. We know we're going to have to go through things. We're going to have to be tried through the fire, tested, try to refine. We know that, but the things of this world are what they're temporal, man. Okay. We got to lay up our treasures in heaven. In Luke 21, verse 35, red letters again, for a snare shall it come up, come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So you can't escape it. There's no getting away from this, man. You know, like, like the dude said in that movie, there's no stopping what can't be stopped. You know, you cannot stop this, man. Verse 36, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the son of man. You know, the straight gate. That's what we're striving for, man. It's to stand before the son of man, you know, getting those crowns. Uh, uh, Brother Ariel, you said uh, you said yesterday in the live stream that uh, I'm fine being a doorman. You know, I'll be a doorman, mm -hmm. but I, but I right. want more. You know, I want I want uh, Yahweh Shai to put that crown upon my head, man. And I'd yeah, love yeah. to see the rest of you brothers, you know, and that new Jerusalem coming down, man. You know, that's yeah. what we're striving for. Verse 37. And in that day, time, he was teaching in a temple. At night, he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives, man. Okay? And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. To do what? To hear him, man. And how is he speaking? How is uh, Yahweh Shah speaking right now? He's speaking through his prophets, the ones that are doing the work on the highways and byways, man. Mm. Oh boy, I just yeah, I just don't I don't understand I don't get these other these other people, man. These sluggards, man. Wow. This is uh. Right. At the end of the day, that's how that's the lot that the Most High put them in. Right. That's you right. Know? But some brothers yeah. are going to do more work than others. Some brothers have had a spirit on them to do eight videos a day or eight lessons a day, and some brothers have had the spirit to do three lessons a week. You know. That's right. They all mm -hmm. balanced. That's it right. all varies, man. You know, That's not right. not every brother is going to do or have the same workload as, as the next brother, man. Absolutely. No. Let's see what we got here. This is uh, uh, this is Isaiah thirty verse nine. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of of uh, Yahweh, man. Okay, verse ten. You all right, buddy? It's like you something there coughing. All right. Uh, verse 10, which say to the seers, see not. See, that's what that's what that's mainly what they do when they come on our pages, trying to uh, jumble us up and, 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 uh, and throw a uh, contention and strife. OK, which say to the seers, see not and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, but speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. Okay, that's what they say. That's what they say, man. 11. Go ye out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, man. So they really don't believe, man. These people don't believe. They hate Yahweh about Shem Shah. Okay, especially the house of Saul, man. All right. Uh, verse 12. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, who is that? The Holy One of Israel. Because you despise this word and trust in oppression, all right, uh, uh, press, uh, uh, preserveness, and stay thereon, okay? And, and, and that's what I was talking about before. They trust in oppression, man. They have no idea that they are yet to stay in their captivity. And if they do, they don't care. They just shuck and jive, you know? They are tap dancing for the devil. Verse 13, therefore, right. this uh, iniquity shall be to you. As a uh, as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, uh, whose breaking cometh suddenly and and at an instant, man. So hey, you don't know. 
We don't know, man. That's why we got to stay occupied in prophecies, like the brother brought out. And see, that's the spirit, because that's why I'm sitting here and allowing the Holy Spirit to flow, because right when I'm looking at the next precept, you brothers are hitting right on the nail in the direction that the, the Spirit is guiding me. So I'm going to go to Jeremiah 6, and I'm going to go to verse 8. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate, a land not inhabited. And that's what happened to us. Why? Because our ear is uncircumcised. We're not cleansed. We're not purged. We're not made into a new creature. Verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Ooh. So they're still the old man. They're still dirty, filthy. So they're like a pig wallowing in mud. They have not been washed or made clean by this doctrine. And when we teach this word to them, it's foreign unto them. It sounds like a, an undesirable song that they can't stand to hear. Yeah, because right. they're in tune with the ways of this world. I'm going to go to Psalms 19 and I'll, I'll, I'll stop there. Psalms 19. I'm going to go to verse 9. So remember, they're unclean. They're uncircumcised. Right. They're not being washed by the word. Psalms 19, verse 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Now, unlike the world, we've allowed this word to, to wash us. Excuse me, to wash us. So when we hear this word, it's a refreshing to our spirit. Oh, yeah. It's like right. we're getting renewed every day, right. every time we hear it. That's why we're able to keep going like this every day. That's the oil coming from the spirit of truth. The fear of the Lord is clean. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Now I'm going to get one more. Verse 13. I got to go to verse 12. Who can understand his error? Cleanse thou me from secret thought. Woo! <laughs> And that's getting back into that new man. And this is why, have you ever been out and you see a bunch, a bunch of brothers, they're carrying a certain vibration, you go the opposite way. So this, this truth puts you under an entire different frequency. So when the brothers are giving off a certain vibe, even the other heathen, you can't even intermingle with them. They're out of tune, they're out of sync. There, there's no conversation, but we're joining together on one accord, the same melody, because we're singing the same song. I feel like you brothers are closer to me than my own blood brothers. I don't even talk to my own blood brothers. You're my brothers. You're my sisters. You're my family. So we have allowed this word, well, actually, we had nothing to do with it. But we were chosen to be washed by this word. Verse 12 again. I'm going to go to verse 12 again. Who can understand his error? Cleanse thou me from secret fault. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright. And I shall be innocent from the great transgression. So we don't even know when we're going off. Right. We don't even know sometimes when we're committing sin. This devil is putting pork in our red wine, in our oils that we rub with, lotion. He's putting pork in 
in the chicken that we buy, beef. Yep. So we don't even know when we're going off. Right. You know, we might be looking at a woman. We might even know, not even know if she's married or not. So right. we're being covered by that election of grace, that covering that the Most High has placed over a preordained few. Verse 14, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So we're speaking, we're speaking righteous communication. So we're speaking the words that leads to an eternal life. So we're not allowing corrupt communication to come out of our mouth. False doctrine. We're not being enticed to go to go after the things of this world. So we're also meditating on what what's being directed or instructed to us. So we're meditating on the instruction book that leads to the kingdom. So this is the treasure. This is the gold and silver. When we read in verse ten, much fine gold. And sweeter than honey and honeycomb. And then the meditation of my heart. So our mind is meditating daily on what we need to do to stay in this walk. That's right. Salakia brothers, I'm just trying to fix something. I can still see all both of you brothers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I see both. Beautiful. I see you both too. Hey, well, I got uh, I got a precept, man. This is Romans 15, verse 4. For what so uh, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. See, that's going back to what the brother was talking about, man. And, and yeah, hey, <laughs> I speak way more with all of you brothers than I than I ever did, really, with my own blood brothers, man. Why? Because hey, the ones who do the the uh, the, the work uh, the will of the Father, right? All right, Romans 15, verse 4. For whoso, uh, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Verse 5. Now the most high of patience, uh, consolation, grant you to be like-minded, one towards another, you know, to Hamashiach Yahweh man. So we think the same way, man. You know, I can't tell you how many times, I cannot tell you how many times uh, I'll make a video or I'll hear a video and, and it'll be the same thing that I said or another brother said, and they have no idea that they said it, man, because the spirit bear witness, man, because we, we're all, we're all walking in one way, one, one narrow path, man. Okay. Uh, verse six, that ye uh, may be uh, made with one mind. And one mouth glorify Hamashiach, uh, like you, glorify God, right? Even the Father of our Lord Hamashiach, you have a shot, man. See, one mouth, one mouth, man. Okay, and you know we got a big mouth. Who's singing that new song, man? We, we, we singing a new song right now, you know? Okay, verse eight. Now I say that Hamashiach, you have a shot was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of the Most High to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Okay? So, hey, man, <laughs> who is singing that new song? We are singing that new song, man. And the words shall not depart from thy mouth. As a matter of fact, right. I'll get that right quick. In case anybody, anybody else. You got something? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Quick one, man. Psalms 18 and 2. You know, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower, man. You know, the most high, right. without the most high, we ain't got nothing, man. We're nobody, man. That's right. You know? It, our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. That's right. I will call upon the Lord, Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies, man. You know, the Most High is definitely worthy of praise and Yahweh Shai as well. You know, 
Absolutely. I wonder if you, uh, can it, can it, uh, can y'all see that? See what? I can't. I'm trying to. I see I'm the top to of your head. I see the top of Amawan's head. That's it. I don't see nothing else on my on my phone. Okay. Y'all got well, y'all got like iPhone thirty seven, and I got this Stylo six. Got to get a new phone out. <laughs> Everything is good on my side. Okay. Yeah. All right. I I thought I may have messed something up, man. Y'all go ahead, Salakia. Did I mess something up? No, oh, you're good. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, let's hit the comment board. Uh, we got a... Uh... Oh, boy, this comment board is seriously on fire. Wow. I'm going to uh, go to the okay, comment board. Had a... right? Yeah, this comment yeah. board's on fire. This is uh, uh, Zebulon Warrior. Uh, Shalom, day, 144. Brother. What's that, brother? No, I was saying Shalom to Zebulon Warrior. Yeah, Shalom, Shalom. All right. Shalom. This is uh, Philippians 2, verse 2. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one on one accord, one mind, man. And there are many parts to the body. But you know what? You can't walk without feet. You can't see without eyes. You know, you can't feel. You, you can't hear without an ear, right? So, uh, you know, I like that scripture. Same brother, 1 Corinthians 1, verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Hamashiach Yahushai, excuse me, that ye speak the same thing, that there be no divisions among you, but, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind, in the same judgment. Okay? Beautiful, man. Uh, the water for that scripture, brother. Let's see what, what what else we have here. I'm, I'm gonna get a couple more off of here, man, and we'll we'll keep going. Cause wow, man, uh, this the, the brother Andre serving your house shot. Shalom. There's a man. There's a whole lot of brothers on this comment board. Wow. Let's see. Let's get Matthew. Andre serving your house shot. One forty four. Matthew twelve verse forty seven. All right. Then one say unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without. Uh, desiring to speak with thee. Let's see. The, uh, we need forty-eight. Okay, forty-eight. Same brother. Uh, but he, uh, but he answered and said unto him that hold him, who is my mother? Okay, and who are my brethren? That's per that per that's a perfect precept, man. All right, verse. Yep, yeah, forty-nine. And he stretches forth his hand towards his disciple and said, Behold, my brother. And my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my father is in heaven. The same is my brother, my sister, and my mother, man. That was a perfect precept. Thanks for bringing that out, man. And, and, I, and as a matter of fact, I had that on the list. But uh, but that's who our brothers and sisters are, man. The ones who are doing the will, okay? You know, hey, I'm, hey I got to be honest. I do. I love my blood brothers. I love them, man. But when it comes down to it, they can kick rocks, man. If they don't understand the truth and and, and, and want to shun you, how about Shimmy Yahweh Shah, which is uh which is my first love, they can kick rocks. And that's that. I'm just speaking candidly. And there's another good precept. Um, brother Pillars of Benjamin, 1 Corinthians 3 and 9. For we are laborers together with the most high. Yep. Ye are the most high's husbandry, ye are the most high's building yep that's right that's right i'm gonna get another one i'm gonna go to the book of psalms chapter 127 psalms 127 verse one a song of degrees for solomon except the lord build the house they labor in in vain that build it except the lord Keep the city, the watchmen wake up but in vain. So we're building on temperate mortar. And we're building in the spirit of truth. That's what's bringing the stones together, the Holy Spirit. And that's how we're able to operate 
on one accord or singing in the same melody. And you can tell if a brother is off cue when he starts going off bringing a doctrine that don't fit. So that's how we, we get offended when we hear a false doctrine or when we hear a brother interpret the scriptures wrong. It right. throw, throws everything off. And this is why we're able to assemble among each other or fellowship because we're singing the same melody. Let me get one more. Psalms 147. Psalms 147, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our power. Woo. For it is pleasant, and praise is calmly. Have you ever been inside of a um, choir or orchestra? It only takes one person to sing off cue or off key. And the choir director just tells everybody to stop. So pray, praise is calmly and pleasant if we're on the same tune. Verse 2, the Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcast of Israel. And these are the stones of the elect that are being brought back together and compacted by that glue, the spirit of truth, and built on the foundation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That building is the elect stones that's coming together on one accord. That's right. One spirit, one body, and one doctrine. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. But well, that brings me to this, man. Uh, we are, uh, <clears throat> Salakia. This is uh, Zephaniah 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Okay, verse two. Before the decree, bring before what? Before the decree, bring forth the day uh, praise as chaff. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, man. Okay, so uh, this is this is what we're doing. We're singing that new song in uh, 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 in Isaiah five verse one. You know, we're bidding them to the marriage. You know, we're crying aloud, spare not. Bidding them to the marriage, man. Singing that new song, all right? Gathering the nation together, man. The 144, the hopeful elect, okay? You know, and it, hey, it's only 144 and one-third, right? Verse 3, see ye the Lord, ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his uh, judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Hid mm -hmm. where? In his barn. Mm -hmm. You see? That's, that's where right. that's where we're gonna be. scarcely. He said, uh, uh, "The elect shall scarcely be saved, man." That's right. Okay, and hey, that's what we're looking for, man. We're, we're looking to get beamed up out of here. I know we probably sound like a bunch of lunatics to you people that don't understand the scriptures, man. But hey, it is what it is. The foolishness of preaching, right? That's all I, I have on that. I got a quick precept on the elect. Stay on the subject. It's First Thessalonians four and thirteen. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will the Most High bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead and Hamashiach shall rise first. Ooh. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, man. You know the comforter, yeah, that's right. That's and Lord absolutely. willing, we are all of the of that number, man. You know, Lord willing, we all will meet in the clouds, man. You know, and sing that song, that new song together, man. You know, that's right? Who can, yeah, who can sing it? Who can sing it? And I want to say again, uh, uh if it, either one of you brothers see something on the comment board that's fire, hey, bring it out, man. You know, 
do, okay. do what you got. Yeah, do. just a preset to go at the um, right behind Brother Aria. It's uh, Isaiah 52. So we're being we're being caught up like that. We're being lifted up out of the out of the ashes, mm -hmm. out of the dust of the earth. So we're being elevated, and we're being we're putting on the new garment. So our bodies are being changed in that process. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. So we're being changed in that process and we're going from the earthly vessels into the heavenly vessels. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. We're going to be at rest, at peace. We're being comforted now. Enter it into the kingdom. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. O Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. O captive daughter of Zion. And we know that dust represent a low-lying area of confusion. So now we're being elevated into glory, eternal glory. That's right. And this is what we're fighting for, to see the hastening, the arrival of the kingdom. <clears throat> Absolutely, man. Okay, I got a precept to that, man. Uh, Ephesians 4, verse 22, that ye put off concerning the former uh, yeah, conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, man. So, yeah, we are, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has put his spirit upon us to make ourselves anew, put on the new man, okay? Verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Verse 24, and that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness. And true holiness, 25, wherefore putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are all members one of another, okay? And, and your neighbor is your brethren, man, not not the uh, not, not the redneck that, uh, beside, sits back over here, not this uh, 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 Elamite that's over here in, in this house. No, your neighbor is your brother, man, okay? Verse 25 again, wherefore put away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of uh, one another. Be ye angry and sin not. Hmm. Listen very closely. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, man. You see? All right. Verse twenty-seven: Neither give place to uh, to the uh, to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hand the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Man, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that uh, but that which is good. To use of edifying. Okay, I gotta read that again. I like the way that sounded. Verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use of edifying, that is uh, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Woo! Yeah. So uh grace unto the hearers. <laughs> Those who have an ear to hear, let them hear. You see, you know, and uh, if he's unrighteous, let him be unrighteous still. If he's filthy, let him be filthy still. You see? Okay, that, that's all I had on that. <coughs> so lock you. Can you brothers hear? Still here. Okay. Let's hit the comment board one more time. Or uh, are you your brothers, y'all about ready to close out? It's up to y'all. Whatever y'all. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah. I'm sticking all this in, man. We we at about 140 right now, about an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man, that seemed like about 30 minutes. Right? You know, I went wow. that went by fast, man. Yeah, that went by Yeah, it went by fast. It went by wow. fast. Oh, okay. Okay. And I like to read that one precept though before we close out, if you don't mind. Sure. It's uh, Brother Bakiyar Yasharala, Psalms 1 and 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. And I kind of alluded to this earlier. You don't even feel right uh, alongside brothers that give off a different vibe. That's contrary to this walk. Verse 2, Psalms 1 and 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. We talked about that too. Those brothers that are not diligent, that are not focused on this work or this walk, then we're not even associated with them. That's right. So we're being severed out by this word. And when you read Matthew 10 and 34, where Yahweh Shai says, I come to bring a sword, when you break that down, it also goes into division. So we're being severed from the masses, from the two-thirds and the other nations. And that's going to culminate or end in judgment of those that are outside these courts. Wow. Wow. Man, hey, look, I got. I got. I got to bring this precept out. I got. I, I got, got a precept. Could I? I got one quick one. Uh, just to go, what the brother was saying, real quick, if I may, Baba Kashaw. Go ahead, brother. Okay, the water. This is uh Second Thessalonians, three and six. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, and not after the tradition. The tradition which he received of us for yourselves know how ye ought to follow us for we behave ourselves disorderly among you right now i want to skip down wow. to 14 and 15 it says if any man obey not our word by this epistle note that man and have no company with him that he may be ashamed yet count him not as an enemy but admonish him as a brother, man. Okay? Ooh. When these dudes is going off, man, you know, that our, our so-called brothers, man, we don't put them away, you know? But we we getting his ass, though, man. You know, we That's let right. him know you going off, man. You know? That's right. right. Hey, open rebuke is better than secret love, right? That's right. That's right, man. Hey, well, you I know? got this last one. I'll close out here because this goes along with uh, both of you brothers, man. Leviticus 20 and verse 26. And ye shall be holy unto me. Holy means what? Separate, right? That's right. For I, the Lord Yahweh, am holy and have severed you from other people that ye mm. shall be mine. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, hey, we'll close out there if you brothers are, you know, if, if this, if this. Oh, good says, lesson. Real beautiful lesson. Yeah, it was. Very, very good. It was. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Me too, man. I'm a wild up. Yep. I just want to say this is my first time meeting you. But when I first came into the truth, you were one of the first brothers that I was watching, man. And to wow. be here, you know, doing a holy conversation with you now, it's a blessing, man. You know, yeah, that's beautiful, brother. You don't put a smile on my face. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Because you know what? Uh, what's amazing is one day I was at a parking lot at a restaurant. This truck driver was yelling across the parking lot. I'm a wanna buy, you know, and I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? And he said he's been watching me for years, yeah. but it kind of freaked me out. But that's beautiful, brother. Yeah, man. Call him like how much him, you know, shot. Call him like yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. beautiful. Hey, that's yeah, a man. testimony, man. See, that's how yeah. that's how the spirit that's how the spirit works, man. You know, that's and, right. yeah, that's powerful. You know, there's yeah. a whole lot of brothers I speak to, and the first time I speak to them, I know. Them. You know, it's like I already know him, man. You know, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, the water to both of you brothers for uh, for joining me this night. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Lord so we give we all do it all praise. Again, man. 
Let's, let's go. Let's go. All right. Call Lima, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, or Kakadash, Barakadam. Hey, I want to say, Wah, Ababa, Ball. Boom. That's right. Boom. Call me Yashirab. Call me Yashirab. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.